Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Tinu and today we are doing another prom tutorial. This is going to be a nice sultry look and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys like to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. First off, I'm going to go with my Bioderma CBM primer. This is going to help with closing out my pores. Next, I'll be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. It's gonna help with oil controlling. This just controls my oil all day. Then we're going with my foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in Soft Sable. Placing that all over my face and taking my ELF foundation brush to buff everything out. Next, we're going into the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in number 50, and I'm using the peachy shade to actually correct, and I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. But I first sprayed some of the Mix and Fix spray from Makeup Forever as well. Then we're going with the yellow concealer. We're gonna apply that straight on top of the peachy one. It's gonna give us a nice highlight to the face. We're gonna apply that all over our highlighted areas as well. Then we're following up with the darkest shade in the same palette. That one we're using to contour the features of our face. And then we're gonna blend everything together with my Pro Beauty Blender sponge and I'm also using the e.l.f. brush as well. And then to set my highlight areas, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm just gonna place that mainly on the highlighted areas. Next, we're going with the MAC Care Blend Powder in Dark. We're going to place that over the rest of our face. For our eyes, we're using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Nude, and we're placing that with a flat synthetic brush and blending it out with our fingers ever so gently. And then I'm going with Oatmeal Tan Eyeshadow from Coastal Scents. We're taking a flat eyeshadow brush and placing that all over the lid and also bringing it in the crease as well. Then we're going into Juvia's Nubian Palette 2. We're going into that Metagaxa shade. We're using that as a transition shade, also bringing it towards the inner corners. And that's going to help the outer eyeshadows blend ever so gently. And then we're going into the shade called Jezebel. It's a nice maroon shade. We're going to place that in the lower part of the crease, gently fading it towards the inner corners, but not all the way. And we're just gently building this color. You don't want to put this color all at once because it could look too pigmented and then we're going back with the first transition shade to blend everything out because we do not want any harsh lines. That shadow was really pigmented so I just went back into the brush and also dabbed a little bit of the shadow to kind of reinforce the color. And then I went with my lid shade. That shade is so beautiful. It's in the same palette. We are going to place that all over the lid. Next, we're going back into that same Jezebel shade. We're going to apply that to the lower lash line. It's going to give a nice smoky effect and we're only bringing it halfway or two thirds of the way and leaving the outer part a little bare. And then we're going to apply the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner and this is just a black one. We're going to tight line the bottom and the top rim of the eye. We're gonna be going with this dark plummy purple shade. It has a lot of shimmer in it. We're gonna use that and smudge it like halfway on the lower lash line. And then we're going back into that brush we used for the maroon shade and we're gonna blend everything out and also pop some of that darker shade in the crease as well. And then we're gonna buff everything out with that same brush so we have a smoky effect going on. Then we're going with this beautiful blue, it's called Cleopatra. We're gonna be applying that in that little opening that we have near the tear duct. It's gonna give a nice pop of color to this look. Then we're applying some glitter. This is City Color Cosmetics Glitter and this is in Sparkler. We're applying the glitter primer first and then we're tapping the glitter on top of it. And it's gonna give a nice sparkle and shine to this eye look. 
Then we're going with Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow. We're gonna define the crease a little further, give a little definition, a little smokiness also. And then we're taking that same brush that we used with the maroon color to buff everything out. Then we're gonna be doing our brows. I'm brushing them in place and we're gonna be applying the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And we're just filling my brows, just a simple brow filling. And then we're going to follow up with the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel in Brownie Brows. We're going to just put that on the first part of our brows to kind of make them look a little bit more natural. And then we're going back with the same brush we used with the Dip Brow Pomade to kind of fill in the sparse areas we lost. And then we're going to clean up the top portion of the brows and the bottom portion of the brows so that they look really crisp and nice. Then we're gonna go with this a light shade. In the same Nubian palette, we're just gonna place that in the inner corners to brighten up the eyes. Then we're going with Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in Magic Act. I really, really love this eyeshadow for my brow bone area because it gives me life in that area without it being too harsh. Then I'm gonna buff out the demarcation between the brow bone and a transition color with just a regular brush. And then we're gonna line our eyes. I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner and I'm giving myself a really nice thin extended winged liner. You could choose to go less if you want to. Then I'm applying a few coats of mascara on the top and bottom lashes and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I already applied my falsies behind cameras and I'm going to be contouring my face with the Makeup Geek Contour in Scandal. Then I'm going with my Black Radiance Contouring Palette. We're going to take the middle shade and use that to contour our nose because it's a little less harsh than the Makeup Geek Contour. And then we're applying blush. This is Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in Surprise. This is actually limited edition, so you can just go ahead and grab any pink blush you have. Then for my highlight, I'm going into my City Color Cosmetics Timeless Beauty Palette. The middle highlight is what I use the most. I'm applying it to my highlight features. Onto the lips, I'm using Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Liner and I'm going to list the name on the video. I'm using that to line my lips very, very detailedly. So I really took my time with this. And then we're going to follow up with this gorgeous liquid lipstick. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. It's called Atlantic City. And we're just going to place that right on top of the lips and on the lip liner as well. And here is the final look, guys. I hope you guys really enjoy this look. And if you do enjoy this look, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, I have all the links down below. Thank you guys again for your love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.